Haley is following us. Which I don't know how she found us. She's literally behind us. I'm gonna have to try to lose her. Why the hell is she following us? But how did she know? Sorry, I'm gonna have to hold on. Oh my god. Oh damn, it says no outlet. Be careful. Oh, she saw us. <laughs> what is she doing? Oh, there's a car. Oh my god. All right, guys. So we're about to eat lunch and talk about something. I know Ellie did not sign up for this. <laughs> what? Why the hell is Haley following us? So I brought Haley. Whoops. You're thinking too much about her. So I brought Ellie yeah. to the park because me and her wanted to discuss something. But we did not expect Haley to be following us. To be following us. Um, I think she's following me. She suspects something weird because she's been trying to see my phone. You know, I didn't want her to see me and Ellie's conversation. So I've been trying to kind of like hide it and stuff. So she's been extra crazy on me for some reason. Alex was acting really suspicious and I truly did feel like he was hiding something from me. Alex was laying in bed and he was on his phone and out of nowhere, I got this feeling, this urge. I just went to him and I'm like, hey, let me see your phone. Let me see what you're looking at. And in that very moment, Alex became really suspicious. He became really agitated. He was like, why do you want to see my phone? You always want to see my phone. You are always wanting to look through it. Like, don't you trust me enough already? I took his phone from him, but I didn't go through it. And the reason why is because I thought at that time that I had everything that I needed to know by his reaction. I think we lost it, so we're good. Me and Ellie are gonna have lunch, and then we're gonna tell you guys what we've been planning this whole time. Damn. Now it's ruined. What do we tell her now? Should we just tell her? Or? I would tell her. I don't think she's gonna be mad. I don't want her to be mad at me. What are you doing? Why are you saw my car? Why are yeah. you trying to avoid me? <laughs> what are you doing? A whole meal too. Okay. What? What do you mean why? What you, you saw doing? my car. I saw you back. You know exactly where you were going too. Okay, well, but chill out, baby. Chill out for what? Chill out for what? 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 I, I, I want to know your explanation. Why do you have her here? <laughs> well, we were going to tell you. But damn. Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. Then tell me why. Then tell me why. Tell, 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 tell. Tell me what then. Reacting. Man, we were literally planning something. What are you doing? Stop, stop. Baby. Relax. Tell me. I saw you too. I saw you back up. It's yes, where you I know. Me but like, man, me and Ellie are planning something. Oh, and you couldn't have told me? What do you mean he told you? How am I going to tell you we're planning something? Obviously, so, I'm not going to well, tell you. What are you planning? What is this big thing that you guys have going on? Man, literally, we're planning just to surprise you with something. What is it? I was going to have her come clean the house. So, that's why you bought lunch? Yes, we're literally having lunch because we're talking about it. We're literally... Oh, my God. Is that true? <laughs> Bro, Ellie looks scared right <laughs> now. What the fuck? Can you chill out, baby? Can you chill out? Come here. Just come on, like, like, I think we need to talk. No, I just wanted to know because you, I seen you within the car with someone. I was trying to follow you. I know you, I know you heard me. I know, I know you saw the car. It's not many of those. And you were trying to avoid me. So what? like, don't try to turn this out on me. I'm not, I'm not crazy. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're not. Let's go with that. But what that, what? Okay, no, so I actually went to your phone and I saw the messages that you had with her. It is so cute. It was so cute. You even asked Bert if like you could get Ellie and stuff like that. I'm sorry you're dealing with this Ellie. I'm honestly like Dude, oh, I really wanted to pour that on you. Why you stop me? No, what the f I really wanted to pour oh, that what? on you. I ain't gonna lie, I kinda wanna pour something on Ellie too, but I'm like, nah, nah, she already oh, she's, <laughs> she's been nervous this whole time. She hasn't even eaten. Cause 
chasing us around. Like, what the? Did I scare you, Elise? I didn't mean to. I was just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. I wasn't just kidding. I kind of want to just let you know that I got my eye on you at all times. Do you understand? No, I'm not okay. You shouldn't be keeping things from your wife. It doesn't matter. It's a surprise. Are you really going to come clean your house? Yes, clean your house. Nah, Ellie, don't do it no more. I say no, not no more. What do you mean, not no more? Cause. You were going to do this whole thing. We were planning a surprise, though. And how were you going to surprise me? I we, just want to know. That's why we were having lunch. We were talking about it and stuff. But, you know what I'm saying? It, it was kind of like, damn, I didn't really know how to react. Because you've been following us around. It's kind of like, damn. Can I scare you? I mean, a little bit. You weren't too scared, felt. though. Because I noticed that when you backed up, you kind of had this, like, ha-ha. Ha-ha? Yeah, you kind of no, had, like, a ha-ha. Like, uh, almost like, oh, oh, so it was a cringy thing? Kind of. I didn't mean to scare that's too late. Me too. Did I ruin your lunch? Yes. Yeah. Literally ruined it. I got so out of my I had like spot. two fries. <laughs> I had like two. Jesus Christ, this girl, man. I ain't gonna lie. I, I thought he was legit crazy at, at that point. I thought he was legit crazy. It should serve as a lesson, baby. It I does. Hope it just serves as a lesson. It does. Don't surprise you with nothing. No, don't surprise me with nothing. <laughs> Tell me straight up. Don't go sneaking around with my friend either. Sneaking around with your friend. Bro, Ellie, we. It makes it look bad. Let's not do nothing <laughs> for Haley no yeah. more, Ellie. Ellie's no scared more and surprise. nervous, but she's still on my side. I mean, now that you came with some <laughs> relief. Like, okay, I'm not actually this crazy. I, mean, I, <laughs> I love the fact that I'm like, I'm not crazy, and she was like, You're not. You're not. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so when is no, she no, no, no. We ain't celebrating nothing. What do you mean? We ain't celebrating nothing. Have you seen the house, dude? The yes. house needs some. I know you. I know you've seen the house. Hey, you know I so live in it. So yeah. When does she start? That's all I want to know. Well, we don't have an exact day except. I'll do it today. <gasps> <laughs> You'll do it today. Yes, I'm gonna do it today. <laughs> Oh my goodness! You better be thankful. Oh my goodness! For a minute, I thought I had scared her off. I ain't gonna lie, she's probably like, nah, fuck this shit. I mean, we could have done it better. We was literally gonna plan like balloons. Maybe you walk in or something like that. Have my mom take you out the house, but to a clean house. We can't do anything. We can't do anything with you like this. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are you snooping? Why are you snooping through my problem. phone? Because last time I asked for it, you didn't want to give it to me. So now I got to like go into it while you're asleep because you don't want to give it to me when I ask for it. So this is what you've made me do, sir. Sorry. You good? You good now? You happy now? Yes. Okay. Well, no more surprises for you. Okay. Okay. Well, see okay. you at home. Me and Ellie going to have lunch. What do you mean? Well, half, half a lunch. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Let's go home. <laughs> Let her eat. Let's Jesus. Eat. Oh my God. Hold on. I ain't full right now. Yeah, yeah, yup. Yup. So we brought her back to the house <laughs> hey, because. Too excited. I mean, to be very honest, I was going to go ahead and clean today, but if Ellie can do it for me today, <laughs> that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. um, but we wanted to get the before and after because Ellie was actually telling me right now that she wants to start her cleaning business. <gasps> So you like to clean, I'm yes. assuming. This is something that you enjoy to do. Mm -hmm. So would you say that you have OCD or you're like a clean freak? Uh, I'm a clean freak, but I don't have OCD. I want to bring you over here. Uh -oh. you know, don't get a little, don't, don't come for me uh -oh. in the comments. Don't come for me in the comments. Ellie's gonna come for me in real life. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my sink right here. Keep in mind that usually it's way more dirty but last week, just last week, mm -hmm. Alex and I both went ham for hours on this downstairs and we cleaned it, I want to say, pretty decent. Yeah. So I want to ask you something, Ellie mm -hmm. Beach. Ellie works. <laughs> Ellie is a mom. Ellie is a wife, okay? And she still has time to clean. Ellie, when do you have the time to clean? Like, when do you do this? Well, we were distracted. Her <laughs> home. So I, I want to ask you a question. I hope it's not too personal, but do you have any time for yourself? Not really. Damn. But so so is cleaning like a hobby for you? And like now even less. 
<laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I might have some activities here for Ellie now that she's coming to my house. <laughs> We're gonna be doing some stuff, so I hope her yeah. husband understands. Yeah, fine. Oh, she's seen that before. She's seen this before, actually. Yes. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Cause I want you guys to see the the fridge too. This is wild. This is wild. This is. Damn, you my can't even fridge. see the light. No. Ellie, how clean is your house from a one to ten? You can be honest, bitch. I, um, I'm not gonna get hurt. I would say like an eight. Okay. I, I just clean my fridge. She's being too. modest. It's like and she pressure washed her house like I think a week ago. Okay. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. So I wanna go ahead and say like a nine and a half. From a one to ten, how clean do you think my house is? Be honest. Put the camera in her face. <laughs> <laughs> Since y'all just cleaned it, like a five. Okay. That's not bad. Okay, she's being nice, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that down to like a three and a half. <laughs> you know, so you gotta take it with like yeah. a grain of salt. She my friend, so I know what she's doing. Um, okay, so with a deep cleaning, Ellie is actually gonna go down and do the elbow grease and like mm -hmm. clean out the fridge and like you know declutter my cabinets and stuff. Ellie, I have a question, sis. What? I have a question. They're gonna come from. They're gonna be like, Haley, you don't even have kids. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> How many drawers of these do you have in your house? You know them Two. drawers. Two drawers. Two. You know them drawers in your house where you have them that they're just cluttered. Everything. The cluttered, cluttered drawers. I have one. Two. Three. Hold on. You you think I'm about to finish? <laughs> you should be soon. Four. Damn. Four clutter drawers. <laughs> and she's, she's like cringing. <laughs> she said she was gonna, she's about to go up on that deep cleaning price she gave my husband. <laughs> she's like, you ain't giving her the tour of the house, Alex. Okay, well, Ellie's gonna hopefully start her business soon. And when she gives the green mm -hmm. light, we will let you guys know. So if you guys mm -hmm. stay, I wanna say maybe in like the Dallas area. Yeah. Yeah. And at the Dallas location, hit us up and we will transfer you over to Miss Ellie and her <laughs> cleaning service. And we'll go from there. Yes? Ah! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Because I feel like, you know, we're not all meant to clean. Some of us are just meant to have conversations with the person cleaning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> have you guys seen that meme? You guys seen that meme? No. It will be me to see that. They know me, dude. Facebook is watching us. I'm starving. <laughs> I know you already Yeah, let's leave Ellie alone. For real. Dude, there are hundreds of people here at the park. We all got together, all excited. We came to see the fireworks. We've been here for like 40 minutes. <laughs> We've been here 40 minutes waiting for some damn fireworks. And by the way, just to let you guys know, um, we're here free. <laughs> so there's potential, there's not even fireworks that we can see. So there's gonna be hundreds of people that's gonna be very disappointed. Yes, so the thing is is that the fireworks are supposed to be at a beach, but this park is close to that beach So there's like a hundreds of people here waiting for these fireworks And I don't think we're gonna be able to see them because we were cheap and we didn't want to play to see fireworks Oh shit! <laughs> I'm trying to show you guys everybody that's here disappointed but my flash went off Damn, talk about like hey, I'm over here Dude, there are so many people. Look at all of those cars. Those are all cars, sis. Look at all of these people. It's so many. It's like hundreds of people. And there is the fireworks right there. <laughs> Dude, keep in mind that it's free. Nobody here paid anything to see them. I mean, come on, man. I thought it was Haley told me it was here. I did. I honestly thought the fireworks were going to be in the middle of the park. Right me now. too. It's because I saw this big sign that said fireworks and concert. And I'm like, oh my God, let's go back and see it. But little did we know that it meant like the beach next to the park. <laughs> and like, we can't see nothing, like nothing at man, all. We got played. We got played. But to be very honest with you guys, I am more disappointed in the people that like, this is not their first rodeo that they've right, been here right. time and time again. This can't be hundreds of people's <laughs> first time here, right? They cannot. You know, like how did you guys get fooled? Because they fooled me. <laughs> they fooled me, sis. I got here and it was packed and I'm like, oh my God, it's about to be a show. It's going to be a showdown. And then 
and that is what we're getting right there. <laughs> Look at that. We can see nothing. We can, <laughs> we can see nothing. What the hell? I'm disappointed. I'm I'm so disappointed. This is the worst, worst Fourth of July ever. Ever. <laughs> Everybody's leaving, so we're leaving too. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so disappointing. <laughs> we saw literally whole like crowd of families just we, get up and we, leave. We literally could have seen better fireworks in our neighborhood. <laughs> what the hell is this, man? What is this? So Alex just asked me if I wanted to work out, so I told him no. Did I tell you last night when it started? Yeah, you did say like, oh, it kind of hurts, but. You didn't really like bring too much attention to it. You were just saying that it hurt. Yeah, what do you think happened? I think it started to grow out. That's weird, no? Yeah, supposedly wisdom teeth kind of like come in intervals. Yeah. Like, sometimes they come and they stay for like three, four days and they're trying to come out and it goes away and it happens again. Okay, so I'm going to tell you something, all right? So um, I looked it up on Google. I know that it's bad to self-diagnose yourself, mm -hmm. but I looked it up on Google, and it said that if you have uh, trouble swallowing, if if you experience pain while swallowing, or if you can't like uh, speak right, which if I pronounce a C, like it hurts, um, it says that it could be an infection. Mm -hmm. That maybe I'm not like brushing my teeth right, or like it's being um, it it's coming in wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Can I see it? Top, bottom? The bottom one. Okay, the bottom is supposedly the one that brings more pain. I've had um pain from my wisdom teeth. I experienced those. But I think that only lasts like maybe 30 minutes mm -hmm. to like an hour. And that's it. This was overnight. Overnight. And still right now, I can't swallow. It literally feels like I got some type of like tonsil problem only on this side. Mm -hmm. But I've went in there and I've touched my tonsil and my tonsil is fine. It's just right there where my tooth is. Mm -hmm. That's like, it hurts, mm -hmm. but it's not inflamed and it's not like spewing out pus, mm -hmm. which I guess is good. Mm -hmm. So I do see it coming out the it's other crooked. side. Oh, let me see. Look, I think it's coming out like this. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. I would say not more crooked than the other side. It almost looks identical to the other side, but the rest of your teeth, maybe because of the braces, are pulled in a little more. Damn, so what does that mean? Like, do I need to get this pulled out? Um, not necessarily. It doesn't But doesn't look... that mean that when I take my braces off, my front teeth are going to be crooked? Um, again, not necessarily. Because naturally, we do grow our wisdom teeth, uh -huh. you know. Okay, so I don't know if it was just me waking up or like not being able to sleep last night, but I woke up this morning and I was looking at myself in the mirror and I actually thought that this eye was more inflamed than usual. Does that does it look like that to you now? Mm -hmm. Okay, because the pain is kind of going away a little bit, but I still can't swallow. And when I... You probably had more pain at night because you clenched. Oh my god. Oh my yeah, I personally wouldn't say take any pain medicine just because of how bad it is for you unless the pain is so bad that you actually need to take oh, it. Oh no, if I didn't take pain medication last night when I was trying to sleep and it was the worst, I'm definitely yeah. not going to take it right now when I feel like it's kind of came down yeah, a so little bit. Supposedly, you know, all that stuff is not that great for you. <gasps> actually, it keeps you more inflamed than. You know, it just relieves your symptoms. Okay, do you think that I'm a little crazy because I feel like I have bad luck right now? Why? Because, I mean, I don't want to, like, go into detail, but I kind of feel like I have bad luck right now. Or I have, like, bad karma right now. Why? What's going on? I don't know. I've tried to think about it, too, and I'm like, what is going on? Um, also, hold on, hold on. Can we address the fact of what you told me and your mom about what happened to you when you woke up in the middle of the night? Okay. Yes, can we do yeah. that? Why are you laughing? Because it tripped me out. But I don't, wait, I don't understand why why you thought it was, like, such, like, a, a small, like, he, it happened to him. The crazy thing is that he still doesn't really, like, feel 
threatened by it. Like, I don't understand no, that. I, it was kind of like a dream thing. No, 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 it wasn't. So tell them what happened. Okay, tell them what so happened. And why, I'll tell y'all why I don't I feel like it's a dream. I was asleep in my dream. I was hearing like, hello. 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 Maybe another word. I forgot exactly what two words, but I felt like it was two words. But for the most part, I remember, hello. Hello. In your dream. Hello, yeah. And like, I woke up still hearing it like hello you hello. were awake and you were hearing hello like waking up yes and i like i, I literally freaked out i'm like what the fuck? it was coming from the bathroom like, hello and then what happened and it stopped almost like instantly that's why and i'm like it stopped instantly like, but was he was like already awake my dream waking up you know what i'm saying yeah, I know that he kind of sums it all up to he to him dreaming, but in my opinion, I feel like he was already awake. But it woke me up. Does though. that That's happen the crazy to thing. you guys? It yeah, it woke me up. And it happened to Alex. Which it is happened what? to Alex. Which is, it kind of like it freaked me out. I'm like, yeah, because things like, like this don't really fully, happen to him. But I'm I, I'm convinced that it like it was from you know those dreams that you wake up like. Yeah, but then you still usually I have those dreams. I have those dreams maybe like twice but, or three times. And but, once you wake up, yeah, everything yeah. is normal. But you can also be like, it can also kind of hit like, was that a dream? What just happened? You know, sometimes when you first wake up, yeah, you kind of still a little confused. Like, what, what, you know, am I still in the dream? Like, what's going on? So this is my thing. That was not last night, but the night prior to this. Yep. And then last night. I like literally at night, like I want to say it was maybe 11 p.m. I started getting mm -hmm. toothaches, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And I was with that pain all night. Does that not seem weird to anyone? Weird to anyone You're about at like bad all? Karma? Like some type of bad something, something, I mean, look, something, look, something. If you believe that to be, maybe so, but obviously in life, things are going to go bad. So you just think and it's a coincidence? They pile up. Personally, kind of. Really. I don't know. I think it's deeper than that, sis. Comment I mean, it could down be. below. It literally could be, but it, it kind of goes back to what yeah. you are believing. Yeah. If you believe it to be all yeah. karma, bad karma, like you did something bad and yeah. now it's coming back on you, yeah. then you're going to believe it to be so. Because look, look, this is the thing with Alex. I mean, I love him for being rational because I feel like if he wasn't rational, logical. I would, yeah, logical, I would lose my mind okay but alex has actually experienced things in this house where he thought he saw me upstairs mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. wasn't even me i, I was, was down here he was gonna follow that thing yeah. and now like he talks about it and he thinks rationally and he was like oh my mind was playing tricks on me I mean, like i just don't understand was, it because you even said that you thought it was wearing the same stuff that i was yeah, actually like blue wearing shorts or something like that but basically i was playing a video game and like, for some reason, I looked to, towards the door. The door was open. I looked that way and I see you walk. walk so past. it wasn't even on the your peripherals. You I actually mean, turned to look. I wouldn't say it was like directly, uh -huh. but it was more of like a, I'm turning and at the same time, you Dude, walk Dude, when I, I can't explain to you enough how much this happens to me where I feel like things, like for example, like from my peripherals if alex wasn't here and i would see like a dark shadow yeah. and then i'll turn and then yeah, there's yeah. nothing there that actually happens to me a lot with the cats like i always think i see a cat and i'm like i'm about to go look at him and there's no cat that happens to me a lot with the cat i don't know i know he tries to explain certain things i kind of feel like i was actually thinking about it i'm like have i done something wrong have i hurt someone's feelings have feelings. I done, you know what I'm saying? Like, have I done something oh, with the wrong I hope, intentions? I hope karma is not based on feelings. Yeah, I mean, I think karma is basically what, like, revolving around your energy, the energy that you put out comes back to you. I think karma is about, yeah, like... Actions, what, feelings, intentions. What you feel you did was bad or good, and then whatever things is happening to you now, whether you think it's bad or good, you know, happened because of what you did. Yeah. It's like a, a cause and effect type of thing. Yes. That's what I was thinking. So I'm it's like, based on your own on? perspective. If you believe what you did was yeah. good or bad. Yeah, but then again, you don't believe in karma. So, Well, I mean, know? technically karma is just, like you said, 
Oh you know. my god. We're gonna get into it. No, I'm just saying, Comment down below, sis. What did. do you believe in? Do you believe in karma? Do you believe that negative things that you put out into the world come back to you? Do you believe in witchcraft? Do you believe someone could have like, you know Look. could have sent some bad energy hey. towards us? Like what do they call it? Hold on. Ojo? Like someone like An eyeball? As they call it that. They call it ojo or like something like that. You know what I'm saying? Where someone yeah. has bad intentions and they like put it on you. Yep, yep, yep. I mean at the end of the day. Truly, if you believe it, then let's be honest, it's true. 